Hey guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're gonna be counting down the top 10 Funko Pops that just randomly got canceled. So, let's get started. All right, everybody, so the first figure that I'm gonna be talking about today is Snoop Dogg, and this is what it was supposed to look like right here, and this is definitely early art, but I'm guessing this is probably what it would have looked like if it actually came out. And if I'm gonna be honest, I'm really sad that they never created this character because there is a number missing at the beginning of the rock sign. I believe it's like number four or five, something really early on, and it would have been next to Biggie and Tupac, so three greats right in a row. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know why this figure was canceled, but what I'm guessing is it was probably due to a licensing issue where maybe Funko started working on this one before they got the full license, and then they realized that they weren't gonna be able to get it, so they had to scrap the character entirely, and they showed it off a little bit too early, like this photo right here. And it seems like it was gonna be a great pop, and Funko, if you're gonna make it in the future, I would love to have this exact one right here. All right, everybody, now after Snoop Dogg, we have a really great character, but I totally understand why they canceled it. This one here was the zombified Black Panther. And the reason they canceled this one was because of Chadwick Boseman's passing, who actually played Black Panther in the MCU, and I feel like Funko thought it was a little insensitive to come up with a zombified version of his character a couple months after his passing. And I totally understand that, it just didn't feel right to have that figure coming out a couple months after he passed away, but then they came out with this one, the 10-inch version exclusive to Walmart. Funko, what are you doing? Now this next figure that I'm going to be talking about has kind of a happy ending because the figure does release eventually just like eight years later. This one here is from Hercules Legendary Journeys and I really do enjoy the original concept for this one. It was in a bit of an attack stance and you didn't get that very often for original characters. They used to kind of just be arms to the sides and then that was it. And for a lot of Hercules fans they thought that that was it for the Hercules Pops. We were never going to be getting another one from this film ever again until a couple years ago when Funko was like hey Here's the pop, and I don't know where it came from, if they got the license, whatever it is, but at least it came out and Hercules fans could be happy again. All right, everyone, now for the next canceled pops that I have, I actually have a bit of a weird one here, and this one I gotta pull my laptop out for just because there is a full set of pops and not just a single one. And the set that I'm talking about is Space Force, which was a Netflix exclusive show, and there was gonna be two of them exclusive to Target and then two just common figures. And if you look at the bottom, it says product and development subject to change and licensor approval, so it seems like Funko didn't even get approval from the licensors to actually make these pops. So it seems like they fell through pretty early and maybe this is another one of those pops that they showed off a little too quickly. I know I personally did watch the show and it wasn't my favorite by any means, but it still was a good one and I definitely would have loved to have picked up pops for that show, so it is too bad that they never happened. And now this next figure that I've got here is one from the Rocks line, very similar to Snoop Dogg where they just never made this character, but they made other ones from the same band. So what this is is actually the Beatles. They made all four of the Beatles as well as the Blue Meanie, but they never came out with two characters which is the Yellow Submarine as well as Captain Fred. And why, I couldn't exactly tell you, but it's probably got something to do with those two are from the film when the rest of them are just the band. But then again, the Blue Meanie's also from the film, so I don't know what's really going on here, and this one really is a confusing one to me. And another crazy thing about both the Yellow Submarine and Captain Fred was that they actually made glam shots for both of them. It seemed like they were just about ready to release, and you can actually find Captain Fred ones online that are out of box. I've never seen one with the box, but I mean, out of box is still amazing to find. And as you guys probably know, I have the Blue Meanie from the Beatles set in my collection, but it's the only one that I have that is one of the weirder ones, kind of like the Yellow Submarine and Captain Fred. And I would love to have the other two in my collection eventually, it's just I never see them for sale, and if they are going up for sale, they're super expensive. And now guys, the next pop that we're going to be talking about here is Zorro from One Piece, and I don't know if this one is 100% cancelled, but Entertainment Earth did cancel all of their pre-orders for this figure, so it does seem pretty likely. And you can still pre-order this figure on other websites, I just wouldn't recommend it yet until stores start to actually get them in because Entertainment Earth doesn't normally cancel pre-orders and all of them at that, like maybe if they accidentally pre-order too many of them, but for them to cancel every single one of this Zorro, I just think it's a little bit odd and I definitely think that there's something going on with this figure. And also this is another one of those ones where if you look at the bottom, it does say subject to license or approval. So you never know, this might just not be happening and Funko just hasn't officially announced it yet. And the good news is though, is if you guys are a Zorro fan, you can go back and get his original figure. It isn't as cool with all of his swords, but it still is a nice one and I definitely Definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't got it yet. No! Oh, I tried, I tried. Jeez, this room is a mess. Oh, hi guys, I wanted to talk about some more canceled pops, with this one being the Michael Jackson as Werewolf. And now this one was actually from the Thriller music video, and there was supposed to be two of them coming out, one of him in his red suit, and then I believe it was either gonna be a different version of him or a chase that was gonna be him as a complete werewolf. And now Funko had made other Michael Jackson figures in the past, but then they wanted to make this one here, the Thriller one, about a year, maybe a year and a half later, and it seems like in between the time of them making the first three and then the two later on, they actually lost the license to Michael 
Michael Jackson in general. So it is too bad that we never got to see those pops in anybody's collections, but at least we could see what they were supposed to look like in an early concept form. Oh, and also something kind of funny was that Michael Jackson's estate thought that Funko was still making money off of the figures because they were on the Funko app and they actually told him to take them out entirely. So if you have those in your collection, you can't add them to the Funko app anymore. All right, everybody. Now the next figure that I've got on my canceled list is one in this photo here. And it is crazy how many different characters are actually in this photo and got pushed back so far that they look completely different or were just entirely canceled. And you guys can see here, a lot of these characters did come out at the time of this photo, like Alan with Baby, Edward Scissorhands, Master Chief, and Grunt. And if you guys don't know, this photo was actually found inside of a Toy Fair catalog, which is where Funko shows off all of the new figures coming out that year. But if you guys look in the second row there, we've got Ron Burgundy, Sheldon, The Godfather, and then on the bottom row there, we've got Ferris Bueller and a bunch of other characters. All of those ones were pushed till years and years later. And then the Rango one in the second row just never got released. And if I'm gonna be honest, looking at all of the pops here, the Rango was probably my favorite just because of how different it looks compared to the rest of them. Well, maybe it's closer to Grunt than it is to Sheldon, but it's definitely a cool character. Now for this next figure here, I actually did some digging to find this and it says, we apologize profusely. However, the Mystery Science Theater 3000, Tom Servo Crow, US exclusive pop vinyl has been canceled by Funko and no longer available. And the weirdest part is, is that I own this pop. Let's do some close-ups. And if you guys want to know how I got this one in my collection, I was just on Amazon one day and found out that they had five of them available coming from the UK and I had never seen this pop before. So I was like, you know what, let's purchase it. And then I found out that this figure was actually canceled and that they never made an entire print run for this one. And upon further investigation, I found out that this figure was actually given out to people who donated a certain amount to their Kickstarter to actually bring back the show. And I guess on all of the bases, they created this here, which says on the bottom, hashtag we brought back MST3K, which is Mystery Science Theater 3000 with a signature on the bottom there. And that is so cool that I found this one just randomly on Amazon one day. And I think out of all of the different ones we've talked about so far today, this one has to be one of my favorites just because people who are diehard Mystery Science Theater 3000 fans could actually get this one for their collection instead of it just going away forever. And now guys, for the last set of figures that I want to talk about today is Reservoir Dogs. And it wasn't even like they made one or two of that set. They just completely canceled it in general. And for this set here, it was probably similar to the other ones that we talked about today where they said they were going to be coming out, put them in the Toy Fair catalog, and then they just never got the license or approval. And it is a really cool set. I would love to see them in the future, but for now, it seems like we're never gonna be getting them. And I mean, Funko, if you're watching, I am a huge fan of Reservoir Dogs, so please make them eventually. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Well, anyways, that is about it for all of the different canceled Funko Pops that we have for today. But before we get out of here, we of course have to spin the wheel, so let's go do that. And also, if you guys know of any other canceled Funko Pops, please let me know in the comment section below because we did get a lot of them, but we did not get all of them. So let's spin this wheel and let's see what we're gonna get today. Come on, come on, ooh, hot topic. Let me get a good one. You know what guys, since we're talking about canceled Funko Pops, I thought I would bring up this one right here, which is the Alex Delarge Hot Topic exclusive that came out years later after the original one was, of course, canceled. And for the longest time, the Chase Alex Delarge was the most expensive Funko Pop because there was only 12 of them out there in the world and they were all signed by the CEO, Brian Mariotti. And now if you guys are wondering about this character, this is the Chase version of Alex Delarge. And if I were to flip it over to the backside there, you guys can see the common one that was also inside of this mystery box that was exclusive to Hot Topic. And even though we never did get the original one releasing again, at least we did get another sculpt of it years and years later. And if you guys are wondering when this figure came out, it was in 2016. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. Dripping like a school. On a full with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Cool. V5 full thump. I'm a hump. On a bounce. Jack and Jill. Up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lemma lasses.